As long as that's not your last good decision, you're all right. Hey, yeah. Oh, who's that? <laughs> Bit of echo. White he is our leader. He loves licking. Come on, let's get into it. Three, two, one, go! Come on, Ian! Come on, Ian! Yeah! 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 on, you blues! Come on, pressure! Hey. Come on, pressure! Come on, Brownie, Brownie watch eight! Oh, the play for penalties! Come on, <laughs> You know when they score? We're here at Belper United where Henry have just progressed to the third round of the Derbyshire Senior Cup beating Belper United 3-2. With me I've got manager Glenn Clarence and assistant manager Steve Huntington. Glenn, tonight we've not started with the same team that we had on Saturday. It's been a bit of a change. Um, what's the reasons for that? Uh, a few players missing. Tony, um, Nicole been calling to work. Regan's at a funeral. Um, Boothy obviously got knocked out on Saturday, so he's been rested. Smudge has had a long-standing injury, so he's been rested. Um, and then obviously we've gave a few people a game and mixed it up a bit, which we're entitled to do, because if we're going to stand by the, what we say, that we've got a good squad and a, a big squad, we're going to keep doing that. So, uh, yeah, n not uh, underestimating in Belper United, because as we said before the game, th these are the cups that I've been in a... Belper, Belper dressing room, so to speak, where you go and beat a side, a couple of leagues, I think, in this cup, and that's what it's there for. So, pleasing thing is we're through. Um, I don't think we played that badly. I don't think we underestimated them at all. I think we made two sloppy, silly errors. I don't think Belper caused us that much of a threat, other than a couple of half chances. The goals that they scored, fair, fair play to them, but I think, in, in our opinion, was of our making. Um, and yeah, looking at the side we played, I think. Alex Brown stands out, a kid again from the reserves who's come and played centre midfield and in fairness to him, he's always done well in the midfield three, he played in the midfield two tonight and I thought it was excellent, so the pleasing part is we're through and that's the main thing. You'll see big clubs above us go out of this competition early rounds, teams below, so it's a competition we, we think we can do well in this year and we um, that's what we want to do. Um, Steve, I know... Like Dan just mentioned, there's a few leagues difference between us and Belper. It's a banana skin, um, however you look at it. Was it a case of, again, we've, we've met the need tonight, we've, we've shown the right discipline, have we given the right levels of performance, have we shown the right amount of desire? I think we've met, uh, we've shown the right level of discipline. I think that's a, that's a completely different story. Um, we didn't underestimate Belper United. You know, I'm, I'm from Belper. I've seen Belper United play over a number of years. They've done very well. Uh, good rise up the leagues, doing very well in their league. Um, so we, we were well prepared uh, in terms of what they were about and what they were going to do. Uh, very disappointed from our perspective the goals we conceded. Um, you know, we, we shouldn't be conceding goals like that. I thought we controlled the game for large parts, but then sloppy errors always create things. Um, against you and, and you have a, a five or ten minute spell where you've got to settle things down. I think we did that. Um, with regard to discipline, I thought we were poor tonight. Um, you know, I don't want to talk about the officials, and obviously I can't talk about the officials too much because there seems to be people who don't want you to do that. Um, but under the laws of the game, I'll, 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 I'll turn it on its head if you like. There probably should have been two sendings off in the first five minutes. 
but tonight uh, there seemed to be a different um, interpretation of those laws, shall we say, uh, according to how long the game went on. Uh, we weren't very pleased uh, about that uh, from that perspective, and we weren't very pleased, and we're not very pleased about some of uh, the ill discipline that our players showed. Um, you know, there's no point hiding away from it. It wasn't good enough. It, it already has been addressed in the changing rooms, uh, and it will be addressed in terms of fines. Okay, Glenn Steve's obviously said there's ill discipline today. Um, as manager, it's totally up to you if you want to comment on these two players, Danny Claridge, Jamie Clark, both of them two different actions on the field. Is it something that you do as manager to try and press that out of the players if they just maybe had a little bit of a rush of blood? The bottom line is, I, let, let me refer, before I speak about Clark and Danny Claridge, I think, how many yellow cars have we got? Five or six, how many did they get? See, I don't think that was a dirty game at all. I think there was one tasty tackle. And I think, again, I'm not going to speak about the referees, but I think some of the yellow cards were given for mistimed tackles or late tackles. Or It's a game of football. There's always going to be mistimed tackles. There's always going to be a nudging back. There's always going to be someone going down injured. That's the game of football. It's a contact sport. <laughs> So regards yellow cards, I thought a lot of them were harsh. Regards red cards, I can't stick up for Clarky. I've stuck up for him in the past. I'll stick up for our players left, right and centre. We'll have a chat about it. We've had a chat in the dressing room. I'll, I'll hopefully have another chat with him. <laughs> Do I think it was as serious as people are making out? No. Another week, would a ref send him off? No. But the bottom line is, he was sent off for something very similar and got an 11-game ban. He should know better. He's an ex-professional footballer. He should know better. And I'll say that publicly. Um, Danny Claridge, not an ex-professional footballer. Not been where Clark has been. But he has to learn. And I've told him. And... Hopefully he will learn. So disappointed that we finished the game with ten men. Probably fin should have finished it with nine men. Um, and that's the honest truth. We've, we've got to do better. Okay. Um, I know we can't look forward to the next round of the draw yet. Um, I think that's next Monday. Hopefully it's another good tie for us. Steve, we've got um, Oldmere on Saturday coming to the town ground. A place where. Do we call it bad luck? Do we say that we're just not getting the rub of the green? It's a place where we need to make it a fortress again. Um, I know Boldmere, they looked really great on the start, of the, the start of the season. We had to battle hard to get the result. Is it that situation again where we've got to be at our very, very best? I think we've said these things before, Tony, that there's not many poor sides in, in the league. There's not many poor sides that you play full stop, really. Um, sometimes, depending on your own level of performance, you can be very clinical and, and you can win games well. Uh, and other times games are tight and if you give people a, an opportunity that they take their opportunities and, and games become closer like tonight's scoreline suggests. Uh, with regard to the, the town ground, I, I can't make excuses, we, we talked about it on Saturday, uh, there's, no, there's no excuses. Look, if I'm an opposition manager, I'm looking at things and I'm saying right, at the minute Ena Town's got a poor discipline record and they're poor at home. So what would I do? I'd, I'd be delighted to be going to the, the town ground, putting them under pressure, getting an early goal, seeing how the fans react and winding the players up. We've got to be aware of that. You know, I, I'm old enough and experienced enough to know that that's what I would be doing. So I expect that from the opposition. As far as our squad of players are concerned, Saturday's preparation starts uh, tomorrow. Uh, they need to be thinking about how they, they perform stuff uh, and that's both you know, preparation for the game mentally and physically. Uh, we said in there tonight, and, and we will say it, and I'll say it on here, don't mind players making mistakes, they're not pros, right? they're going to make mistakes, but don't keep making the same mistakes. If we keep making the same mistakes, you're not learning, if you're not learning, our patience will run out, and you won't play. Simple as that. So now I'm looking forward to getting back to the town ground on Saturday, and I'm looking forward to putting the performance on it and getting three points. Fantastic. And I know Steve's just mentioned personnel there again. Um, in the last month or so, we've had players like Ben Townsend, Dan White, Stephen Hart coming to the squad, Glenn. Is there anyone else that you're currently watching? I don't expect to name people, but is there anyone out there that you're showing an interest in? Yeah, we've always got a little black book, as you call it. Tony, yeah, loads of players on our radar. 
Um, do we think we need to add to the squad just yet? Probably not. Um, but again, like I said with Artie, if a good player comes available, we'll, we'll always snap him up. Going on to Saturday, um, we've got to be positive. I think on Saturday I was frustrated, I think, more than anything, because I think that Sporting Castle were, were a good side. I don't think... I don't think they're as good as us, and they're the best side we've played all season. And I include Hereford in that because we had 10 men against Hereford. I think we lost on Saturday because we weren't out of third gear. We probably played at 60% of our capability, and good sides will beat you. We've got to start being positive, and even tonight, we've got to be positive. Forget about the negatives. We are second in the league, we're not second bo bottom in the league. We're in the Derbyshire Cup, we're in the League Cup, we're in the FA Vars. Let's get a smile back on our faces now. And on that note, we'll leave it there. Thanks for your time there, gents. Well